Hello students, very nice. Good morning to you. And how are you? Okay, fine. So students, we discussed about decimals in our last class. Is it? You know, decimals are the fractions with denominators are 10, 100 and 1000. Is it? Denominators with 10, 100 and 1000. Is it? When the denominator is 10, we can call it as, yes, tens place, is it? Tens place, T-E-N-T-H-S. When it is of hundred, yes, very good, hundreds place, is it? Hundreds place. And students, when it is thousand, we can call it as, yes, very good, thousands place, is it? Thousands. So we studied the place value chart of decimal numbers, is it? Before decimal, yes, it is whole number part. For example, in the case of 729.482, the whole number part is, yes, 729. Decimal part is 482, is it? The whole number part consists of three places. Ones, tens and hundreds. Is it? Then after that here it is ones, it is tens and it is hundreds. And students here, yes, first one, four, tens. Then second eight, yes, hundreds, two, Thousands and we can represent it as 4 by 10, 8 by 100, 2 by 1000. Is it? And in the decimal way, it's 0 0.4. It's 0 0.08 and it's 0 0.002. Is it? So students, this all we studied in our last class. Is it? So today we are going to convert fraction to decimal, decimal to fraction. Already know how can we convert a decimal to fraction, is it? When we have given a decimal number, we can check the decimal places, is it? Here three decimal places. So we can simply write it as 482 by 1000 is the fraction form. Is it? 482 by 1000 is the fraction form. Is it? So students, the conversion between decimal and fraction are so simple. So let us together, we can do some problems. So students, don't forget the definition of decimal. You know, when the one's place, when we have one place after the decimal, yes, always remember, denominator is 10. If we have two place, the denominator is 100. And if we have three place, the denominator is 1000. Is it? So here we have 28.30. Okay? 28.30. So count. After decimal, we have one, two places. Is it? Two places. So, after decimal, two place means the denominator should be, yes, 100. So, write the number as it given, 2830. And make the denominator, yes, 100, is it? So that in decimal form, we can write it as, write the number as in the form. Then count, we have two zeros. So, from the right side, 1, 2, should put the decimal here, is it? So, conversion is so simple, is it? Then check for another one, 4828.1. Can you say which will be the denominator? Of course, it is 10, as you know, there is 1 place. After the decimal, one place. So, write the number as it given. Then, write the denominator. Got it? It's a symbol. So, to make fraction, we should count the decimal place.
base values is it that is numbers after decimal how many numbers how many places are there after decimal and to convert to decimal check number of zeros in the denominator is it number of zeros after that yes move from the right the number of times is it another example 482 by 1000 is it 482 482 by 1000 then to convert to yes decimal form here we have fraction so to decimal check the number of zeros 1 2 3 so first of all write the number as it given we have to put the decimal point after three places so one two three and here is the decimal so we can write it as 0 0.482 is it then we can check another example 48 by thousand okay 48 by thousand check we have three zeros so we have to put Three places, is it? After three places, we should mark the decimal point. So, only we have two numbers. That is two positions. One and two. We should move one time. So, here we have no digit. So, put zero. After that, put the decimal point. So, we can write it as 0 0.048. Is it? Then, Next one, 28.01. This is in decimal form. Is it decimal form? So, should make to? Yes, fraction. So, write the number as it given. Then, check. Here we have two places after decimal. So, we should put denominator with Two zeros. So you know it's hundred. Zero point zero three one. Is it? Zero point zero three one. Then we have three places after decimal. It means we should have yes denominator with three zeros. So write the number zero three one by thousand. Is it? And this is equal to 31 by 1000, is it? The value is 31, is it? As you know, the this zero has no value. It's We can read it as 31 by 1000, is it? So students, decimals and fraction conversion are so simple. Always have in your mind the concept of decimal. Decimal means fraction with denominator 10, 100 and thousand and the very important thing is always count the number of zeros in yes denominator to put the decimal point is it number of zeros means number of place value after decimal got it so students do your exercise works yourself so that you can thorough with this topic and we will discuss more at the time of your DCS. Thank you.